I would like to do a quick example of collecting digits from Tropo and sending those digits as they're entered over a TCP socket to a remote server. I've written a simple server here using Event Machine, which is a Ruby library that will go ahead and receive data on the socket and simply print that out to the console. Nothing fancy, we just want to see right now that it's coming across. The client side, which is the Tropo script, will open a new socket to that server. It will set a series of options, one through nine plus zero. It'll answer and then say hello. Uh, while the call is active, meaning the, the user's being expected to enter in digits, we will ask them, please enter a digit using zero to exit and pass the options we had here on what are valid choices. If the uh, value is zero, because they've hit zero to exit, it will go to say thank you, goodbye, close the client and hang up. Otherwise, if they've entered one of the valid digits one through nine, we will write to the socket the value of that and repeat back exactly what they entered. So what we should see on the socket side here is the uh, remote server running the server code that we saw up here. I will go ahead and call this number. And welcome to the digit collector. Please enter a digit using zero to exit. You may say here it's actually connected to the server. I'll hit one. You entered one. Please enter a digit using zero. You entered two. Please enter a digit using zero. You entered five. Please enter a digit. You entered six. Please enter. You entered seven. Please enter. You entered three. Please enter a digit. Thank you. Goodbye. Now you may actually see we've hung up the call, terminated the session. That socket then disconnects. Let me get rid of this for now. And uh, you are actually uh, maintaining a persistent socket from the Tropo Cloud to your server. If you have any more questions, please feel free to ask. Thank you.